Steve, I just talked to the police and there's still no sign. Uh, I can come back later. Well, it's getting late, Diana. I'll hold down the fort. Why don't you go on home before it gets too dark? Well, I think that's a good idea. Uh, uh, dark, dark, that's it. What's well, it? What? In the truck. They were moving that disruptor thing, and Mark's friend said something about it's awfully small to black out an entire city. Black out a city? Washington? You know, he could do it. He could use the disruptor to short circuit the main generator on the Potomac River. Oh, Steve, that's crazy. A blackout could cause riots and looting, hospitals shutting down, people could die. All just so Mayfield can steal those documents. I'll get a security team to the depository right away. Diana, maybe we ought to... Diana? You aren't good friends by now. You will be by the time they get you out of this. let anything happen to me. No, of course not. Bonnie! I wanted to do it myself. Uh, any sign of Mayfield? Uh, no such luck. As soon as the lights went out, he probably caught the first plane to Brazil. Well, he might. But Mayfield isn't an ordinary thief. He's a collector. One of his hoods told me earlier that he's got a private collection in his office. You know, you're a very unique sort of thief, Mr. Mayfield. I think people ought to get a chance to see what uh, kind of a man would black out an entire city to satisfy his own personal obsession. How about if we run a tour through here once or twice a week? Would you like that? That ought to keep you. You'll be safe here. Oh, one thing, Barney. Steve tells me that when Mark pulled his gun on you down at the depository, it didn't fire. Does this mean that you're beginning to deliver good luck? Who knows? Maybe now that I'm feeling a little bit better about myself, uh, maybe the odds will turn up a little more even. Some good, some bad. It's all anyone can ask out of life, right? Well, I don't know about you two, but I am starving. Anybody interested in finding an all-night steakhouse? Well, thanks, but no thanks. I'm going home and sleep until noon. How about you, Bonnie? Want to have a late dinner with me? Oh, I'd love to. Great. Good night, Diana. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, right, Steve. Take care, Bonnie. And I've got a feeling that your luck is definitely taking a turn for the better. Well, keep working on it. <laughs> 